Hi, my name is Marissa Stafford and I had the privilege of being the student teacher for Mrs. McCormick's third grade class. We had the opportunity to be involved in a project um, creating kiosks, a kiosk for the wetlands complex that's being um, put in in Prineville. Um, it's great to have a real life project for kids to work on. These, this group of kids are uh, above benchmark readers and so for them to be able to put their skills to work and take ownership in such a cool project, um, it leaves lasting impressions for their learning. It was great working with the city of Primeville. They are very helpful and encouraging to the children and it's just been a wonderful experience for everybody. Um, I would like to tell you that some types of, um, the biggest bat is called the mega bat, or at least one of the biggest bats is called a mega bat. Um, also, uh, hummingbirds use their, they have different beaks, and the reason why they have different beaks, like one hummingbird has a beak that goes like that, down. It's called a sickle bill. And uh, it's because one of the flowers goes like all the way down, so it can't, so it just, and it's really long, so it goes all the way down. So that's how they get the pollen out of there. So there's certain flowers for certain pollens. We've been studying all sorts of things of why we need to help them and what we can do to help them at home. And I said, that we can plant more purple flowers and build beehives or don't kill them. Pollinators are endangered. Pollinators are endangered because uh, colonies collapse order, cold weather, uh, buildings, and uh, pesticides and mites. So number one is you can identify a honeybee's job or rank by the pattern in its buds. One bee can only make one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey in their lifetime. Drones, drones, male honeybees, pass away one day after mating with the queen. Pollinators pollinate 35% of global crop production. Products that pollinators provide are soap, paint, wax candles, chapstick, lotion, fire starters, furniture polish, and wax powder. We are doing pollinator attraction. Um, what I learned about butterflies um, is that they are attracted to many things such as sunflowers, orchids, zinnias, and delicates. I learned that hummingbirds are attracted to red, but they see it as green. Oh, really? Uh-huh. And hummingbirds are also attracted to some of the flowers that butterflies are attracted to. Honeybees pollinate a lot more food than you, than you think. They are one of the most helpful pollinators. Fantastic, guys. This will be great. So the lady that's making all of these, she can use all that information and then make up different pictures to help communicate that to people. Uh, we're going to take this information and we'll make our kiosk. And then maybe next year, you guys can take a tour out to the wastewater treatment plant, the wetland, and you can find your kiosk and it'll have Mrs. McCormick's name and all of your guys' names. That'll be fun. Exciting.